to clean a mattress. Specifically, I used this method to clean up vomit when my daughter was sick. But you can also do this to clean urine, other bodily fluids, and food stains off your mattress too. Even if you have no stains, if you're just in the mood to do some spring cleaning and just want to freshen up your mattress, Stains and odors can set in pretty quickly, so attend to them as soon as possible. Of course, always take care of your child first. Since we did just that, we actually didn't have time to attend to the stain until the next day, but the stains and smell still came out completely. If your mattress is more than seven to 10 years old, consider replacing it. If not, here are some steps to keep your mattress clean. Step one. Vacuum your mattress to get rid of any dust buildup, any old food crumbs, or any other particles that shouldn't be there. You'll start with this step if you are just freshening up your mattress or if you have dried up stains. If you have new, fresh, wet stains such as vomit, urine, or other bodily fluids, or freshly spilled food or drinks, you'll start directly with step two. Take this hydrogen peroxide that you put on your washcloth and you'll rub it directly into the stain. Now it's gonna look like the hydrogen peroxide is staining your mattress, but don't worry, it's not. It's going to dry clear. Use a new washcloth for each stain so you're not spreading the gross stuff around. Here's a tip, if your stain is very stubborn, try a mixture of hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and salt to spot treat the stains. You can even add a small drop of dishwashing liquid. Once the stains are out and it's dry, then vacuum those areas and continue with step two. Make sure you wear gloves. I did not on my first round and the hydrogen peroxide started to eat through my skin. Once you have your stains out, grab a new washcloth and you're going to put more hydrogen peroxide on it and gently wipe your entire mattress. This will sanitize and get rid of any bacteria. Again, it might look like it's staining, but don't worry, it's not. Hydrogen peroxide will dry clear. Take a solution of rubbing alcohol. You can either use straight on rubbing alcohol or equal parts vinegar and rubbing alcohol. This is just to sanitize your mattress a little further. I put mine in a spray bottle and I'm just going to spray the entire mattress. Once you've completed those steps, there's an optional next step, and that is to sprinkle baking soda over your entire mattress. I highly recommend this because it's going to pull up all the moisture from your mattress and it's going to neutralize all the smells, so you'll have a nice, fresh smelling mattress. Step four, let your mattress dry for 24 hours or more. If you can put it by a window and let the sunshine help to dry it, that would be good too. If you are doing an overall cleaning rather than just a stain removal, you can repeat the whole process to the other side. Just flip your mattress once it's dry and do it again. Once your mattress is dry, if you did sprinkle baking soda on it, make sure you vacuum it again. If not, make sure you put a clean, waterproof mattress pad on it. This will extend the life of your mattress and keep it more sanitary and prevent these silly accidents from leaking through your mattress the next time. There we go, mattress pad is on. You're done. Now get the rest of your bedding on and then you can relax or jump on the bed. Thanks again for joining us. See you again next time for the next fun video. Bye.